guys, welcome back to the Top Cricket Academy YouTube channel. Today we're going to be looking at five easy drills that you can run at your club, area, any programmes that you're looking to run. Right, Mike, in this drill what we're going to be doing, we're going to be looking at lateral movement around the box and being able to move quickly from one position to another to be able to adapt to when the ball comes at you in a game. I'm going to call one of these four colours. You're going to move to that colour. The moment you get to the colour, as soon as you touch it, I'm then going to throw a ball into the box, either a catch or a roll. Your job is then just to do anything you can to stop that ball. So walking into your position, red. Good. You start out and walk into the centre of the box. Just to replicate the position. White. Good, great work. Blue. Great hands, great hands. Okay. Red. Well done. With this drill, you can make it slightly harder as well by throwing it even quicker, making the box a little bit bigger, and then you can maybe do two colours, so you've got to do more moving. Right, so in this drill, Mike, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be looking at, again, moving laterally. We're going to be moving up sideways along there, back way. Try to pick it up, throw a nice flat throw into me, overarm this time. We're then going to move along to this line here, and then going to work along this line, pick up, throw back to me, and then finally along to the front line. Every time, if you treat this line like a boundary, so you don't want the ball to go behind the line, so you're trying to attack the ball because sometimes with this drill people have a habit of running backwards but I want you attacking the ball. Off you go. Then around the codes again. Then around the front one. Great work. Brilliant release. Excellent. Great adjustment. Uh, for this drill, Mike, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be looking at fielding it in normally a cover position. You've got the blue cone there, which would simulate being at the uh, bowler's end, and the red cone for the keeper's end. I'm going to hit one out, probably along the ground. You're going to move in between the cones as though you're walking into, into the game. Pick up the ball, adjust your position, get your base, and then try and hit. I have one of these stumps, depending on what I call, yeah? Red. Blue. But just a slight change this time. I'm going to add me in it as well. So if I shout me, I'm going to have a mitt on. I want you to throw it in flat to me. Blue, bowler's end, red, keeper's end, and then me. Blue. Me. Good arm. Red. Easy. So for this drill, what we're going to be doing is we're going to make it as real to life as possible as we're batting. So I'm going to be standing at that end as a keeper. I'm going to roll the ball across. You're going to start this cone. I'm going to roll the ball across. If I call bowlers, you're going to shy at that end. If I call keepers, it's a flat throw into me, this end. So imagine this probably fielding point here. So you're looking to move around, bang, shy at the bowler's end, or come in flat to me at the keeper's end. Bowlers, bowlers! Keepers again, keepers again. Work hard, work hard, work hard. Great work. Keepers, keepers! I love the commitment to the dive over there. A couple of little things. First of all, we break down the skill of stopping the ball and throwing the ball, two separate skills. So while we're thinking about shying, we rush through it. That's a couple of times. I like the fact you're going one-handed, you're confident. At the start, potentially, can we go two hands just to secure the ball and then look to throw? Because half time we will have still have the time to be able to hit the stumps doing it that way. Second thing, with the, when you're throwing into the keeper's end, I like the fact you're throwing it on the bounce. Can we take another, again, just take a second, to set our base and just be able to throw a flat one? Just because sometimes it could be quite variable. Your weight's all going that way. So sometimes it's working against the ball. It's important that we do it from both sides so that we can get practice of throwing with both hands. Another thing about this drill is actually if you were to stand over that cone, that's extra cover. Bowlers! Bowlers! Right, the final part of our five part best drills for fielding, it's going to be a bit of a competition. Okay, we're going to do it just two of us, but this is great if you're working at a club and you've got loads of coaches, you could potentially have five stations or if you've got large groups and it becomes a bit competitive, a bit of a competition. First one, I'm going to underarm a ball on the ground, you're going to attack it, pick up, flat throw above the stumps to me. Then get, again, try and get to that red line for a flat catch. As soon as you've got back to me, then you're going to run behind me, throw one over your shoulder, to catch it, back to me, and then run back past the code. Well done, good work, good work. Well done, fantastic, great energy. And that brings to an end what I would say are probably our five best drills that you can do with literally a cone and a coach. You don't need a stump for that last one, but obviously it enhances it a bit more. 
nice and simple for you guys to replicate at home. If you've got any questions, please ask us. We'd like to engage with you guys in the comments section down below. There's going to be loads more videos coming around fielding, batting, bowling soon, and all other stuff. We've got loads of special guest appearances. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Uh, any other video suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you for the next video. Cheers.